I personally used to have lots of green veins. So that is why I think that by the end of this video, you should be able to not only get rid of your green veins, but you should be able to be someone that is now treating green veins. You should be someone that is now going to be advising people on how to get rid of their green veins. I am using my hand as a proof. I used to have lots, lots of green veins, like very serious ones. I mean it, like very serious ones. People that knew me as at, let me say it, last year or two years ago, they know that I really used to have green veins. So why don't you just grab a popcorn and maybe a tea mug, sit in front of this video right now because it's going to be very detailed and a whole lot of things to be learned from it. So why not just go grab it while we move on to the video. <music> guys you're welcome to my channel this video is going to be about green veins everybody everybody do have green veins like everybody green veins is just veins is veins that runs in your body like you must have veins for you to be a human being you have veins so why does it become visible in your hands in your body in your skin on your legs on your laps on your shoulders on your arms, on your chest, is because of the things you are doing to your skin. Most of the people that have this problem are people that are lean, as in people that are slim. They are the ones that tend to have this problem because green veins easily show on their skin. For example, if you're slim, if you're slim, squeeze your hand and look at your skin. You see that you have green veins, like. It will show even if you're a dark skinned person, you still tend to have green veins. So imagine at worst doing things that makes the green veins to become very visible. It's so dirty. Green veins is so dirty. I do not wish it for anybody. So now the first thing that you are doing right now that is causing the green veins for you is that you are stressing your skin. Your skin cannot just stay like that and green veins begin to be so visible, like the green lines begins to be so visible. So there are things that you're doing for your skin that you're not supposed to be doing it and this is what is causing you to be having green veins. So my darling, the first thing you need to do is for you to change your cream. If you're using any whitening lotion, any lightening lotion or anything that you know is very harsh for your skin, that is where you have to act. And you need to act very fast. You need to change your, your cream or you stop whitening cream for now. Like you just have to stop it. You have to stop it because you need to recover your skin before you begin to use a beta cream. Even if you get a beta cream, if you had already damaged your skin and green veins are already showing on your skin, it will be difficult for the cream to... A cream cannot just come and heal your skin and then still work for you at the same time. No. Any manufacturer that is making a cream is making a cream for a particular purpose. So any cream that you expect to come and do all round, all round stuff for you. And the worst is if you've already damaged something on your skin cells. So... You just need to stop the cream you are using. You get a moisturizer that you know will not darken your skin. I have made a video about some good moisturizers that will not darken your skin. So you can get a good moisturizer and begin to use it on your skin. Very, very important. That that's, that's what you have to do. That way, if you use a moisturizer within a month you're going to recover your skin but you are afraid that you do not want to get it you do not want to go darker you just want to tone but toning your skin and being white being nice and all that without your skin being beautiful i don't know what you gain from that it's not nice at all if you start seeing your skin your green veins being visible coming out know that you're thinning out your skin you are thinning out your skin. Just know that your cream is not doing what it's supposed to do. Rather, it's rubbishing your skin. And you're prone to having cancer. You're prone to having a very bad, serious bad skin in future. So, you may just want to consider this and stop for now. For now, you just need to stop it. So, when you change your moisturizer 
and use it for a month from there you can then go back to using maybe a lightening cream then another thing that makes your skin to thin and green veins begin to be visible on your skin is when you want to just go from a dark tone to a very white white tone that is the number two thing that make your skin to just fly up and become thin and then green veins start to be very visible on your skin you cannot move from shade one to shade six if there is anything like that you cannot move from one shade to five shade at once with one cream no that is why i always advise that if you want to whiten up you go gradually for example you can make use of just a scrub a whitening scrub while you make use of a normal moisturizer as a lotion and then you make use of a mouth soap that way your skin is going to go gradually and it's going to respond gradually this is a skin that don't that does not understand your language it does not understand what you're doing so don't allow it to react in a very difficult way that it will end up making you depressed i mean green veins can make you get depressed like you want to wear a very nice beautiful dress and it's showing and you now have to start editing your pictures and all that it's not a nice thing anybody seeing you it looks so dirty like so so dirty you do not want to experience it and if you're already experiencing it this is just what you have to do reduce the amount of stuff you're adding to your skin just know that that cream is so harsh and do you know it's really 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 creams that causes green veins like you may not really get green veins from using scrubs because you're not using scrubs every day but it's possible because if you're using scrub every day you may tend to have it and if you're not using scrubs that contains that has moist like you're using a scrub for an oily skin and you use it for you that have a dry skin it's possible that green veins will start showing on your body because that is going to be too harsh for you so you need to just be wise if you want to go from a shade to shade go each shade if you want to move from shade to shade like if you're shade one and you want to move go gradually how do you go gradually by using a lotion that will give you shade two just one shade at a time don't pick a lotion that you are shade one and you know that this lotion is going to give you shade four and you begin to use it and you're using it every day just because you maybe have a party or something that is what is going to harm your skin you see majority of creams that give you the green veins are the creams that contains high dose of steroid and hydroquinone and these creams are creams like caro white creams like um I don't know if i remember Gigi creams like um perfect white creams like um all those you know those bleaching creams creams like um body white you know them i'm going to put them on the screen around so that you see the the kind of creams i'm talking about they are going to cause serious green veins for you do you know why because this cream will force your skin to move from shade one to shade five and that is very wrong if you want to brighten or you want to lighten or you want to glow if you want to do anything you want to temper with your with your skin tone then you have to go gradually just like give yourself two months of doing this or three months don't give yourself two weeks you don't give yourself one week don't give yourself three days give yourself three months so that you do things right if you're starting from a scrub fine start from a scrub but while you're using a scrub, make use of a deep moisturizer that you know it will replace the damage that like it will help. Those damage is going to cut down. It's not going to just go through at once and lighten you. The shampampera whitening, that sharp whitening is what causes green veins. So you want to reduce it. You can move from glowing, then you go to lightening before you go to brightening, then before you go to whitening. There are steps. Skin whitening is stage, is on different stages. For a professional, somebody that knows skin whitening to make a whitening cream for you. And she knows that you have a dark skin. She's going to advise that you start from one thing. She might start from giving you a soap to use. We ask you to use this soap for maybe two weeks before she come and give you a cream. Or if she's giving you three things at the same time, like the cream, the soap, and a scrub. Know that there are three mild stuff. 
that's when it can go. She cannot give you two, three sharp things at once to use on one skin. She wants to damage your skin. She wants to damage your skin because you may enjoy the profits of this skin product within that maybe two weeks, three weeks, one month. It might last up to three months or six months. But after that, you begin to see the worst is very close to veins. That one is very difficult to treat. But green veins, you do not need any product to treat the green veins. You just need to reduce what you are doing on your skin and change your whole routine automatically. And you're going to see that you're, it's definitely going to stop. It's definitely going to stop. So I am not going to be recommending any product because you don't need them. You do not need any product to treat green veins, like to reduce your green veins. Everybody do have green veins. You are the one that activates your green veins to start being visible when you do the things you're not supposed to do. Like when you try to force your skin into doing something at once, that's when you're going to have green veins, especially if you're lean. So people that are lean easily have green veins. And people that are not lean easily have varicose veins. If you notice it, people that are fat easily have very close veins and people that are lean easily have green veins so for you to like avoid these two things reduce it do gradual do gradual is it this skin this skin stuff it needs sense like you need to be a master of your skin to get things right so do gradually move from a shade to a shade from a shade to a shade from a shade to a shade and you won't have any problem with your skin. And if you were already using something harsh, now I have asked you to stop. The only thing I'm going to be recommending for you to use is body oils. Like body oils, massage body oils into your skin daily. Like good body oils that is not going to darken your skin. Like we have carrot oil, like we have oba oil. We have, um, which one should I recommend again? We have sunflower oil. We have um, castor oil. We have um, rose hip oil, we have hemp oil, we have tamano oil. Like, I've already done that before, but I'm just listing some oils for you. We have grape seed oil. Like, those oils are not going to darken your skin, but you can use this to like recover your skin from the damages. And you're going to be using this oil, like, use it daily, massage it on your damn skin. Do not add any other whitening something on your skin again for now until you see that your stuff are no more visible then you're going to drop that particular one that caused it and go pick something that is mild you can do soap and cream mild soap and cream will brighten your skin but if you're doing whitening whitening is going to cause you to have stuff that like that because it's now trying to force your skin so now i've mentioned three things that you can do the first is stop your cream second is go one shade at a time then the third is make use of body oils i think with that that is going to solve the problem because personally i didn't do too much i just stopped some kind of stuff that i did i was just trying to go wah but i didn't know that i should really minimize and go slowly now i'm the one enjoying it so my darling you may just try this and definitely you're going to thank me tomorrow because it is the best advice anybody can give you Anybody that is giving you products for green veins and not asking you to stop your cream for now, the person wants to cause more harm. I am serious. Because definitely there is something that is causing you to have green veins. And you have to reduce the way you are under the sun. Make use of SPF. I don't, I don't, I don't, person, I don't even advise SPF. The oil, the oil you're using on your skin that I'm asking you to like max on your skin daily. It's going to replace SPF for you. But if you have the money, you can still go for SPF above 50. But know that SPF does not last on the skin. Like you may be using SPF and hmm, it still does worse things. Because it, it doesn't last on this. I don't even think if it lasts up to like two hours or three hours on the skin. So I always advise make use of body oil. Stop your whitening cream for now. And you're going to enjoy your skin. Avoid the sun or you shield yourself enough from the sun. You see, people that are not even trying to whiten up having green veins. That's because they are under the sun. They are stressing their skin with chemicals, radiations, you know, all those UV rays. It causes a green vein. So you have to start shielding yourself. Make use of hats when you're going out. Make use of face cap. Cover yourself with the wig you're using. Let it cover you. Cover yourself, cover up. If you're a marketer, a marketer woman, you do more of sun, 
you're going to notice that you're going to have a lot of green veins. That's because you're exposing yourself. Stay on that shade. Just try to manage your skin. That way, you won't have any problem with green veins. Do more of staying in a place that is cold, like an AC environment, a chill place, and make use of these body oils that I've told you, and they are all going to disappear on your skin in no time. Try this, my darling. I know it is the best gift I can give you for after Valentine. <laughs> All right, take care. Love you. See you in my next video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Mwah.